Hey, what's up, fat people? How you doing? Like, I didn't know where Richmond was. I remember where um, Auntie Alice and them used to live at. But um, congratulations on getting your job and everything and stuff. And, um, yeah, when I get back, I, I, I've been doing, oh, I haven't told you. Um, last week, I saw the queen. Because um, over here, I'm just doing so-so, like, on-call positions and everything. And um, I'm with one main catering company. And they, they're they doing all this other kind of stuff. And, like, um, it's mainly service. It's, like, waitressing and stuff, catering. But it's, like, uh, I don't like to serve people. But the places that it takes you, ooh. I mean, like, I got to be with royal people. I was not lucky enough to get one of the positions that they um, that they were doing, which is you work in the boxes. And I heard that one of the hostesses, all she did was pour wine. That's all she has to do is put makeup on, look pretty, and pour wine. And she got about a 400-pound tip, which is equivalent to, like, almost $700 just for pouring wine and everything and then i've heard about people who worked in the same type of event they've gotten their tuition paid for which is about three thousand pounds you know that's close to four hundred and fifty dollars no no about close to five thousand dollars and stuff so yeah they got that another person they got a royal royal rolls royce they got a car one person got a Mini Cooper, another person got a Royce Royce. I can't say it right now, but they got that type of watch and everything. And um, I say, man, sometimes them them rich people just like to throw money to you and everything. I have not been, and and it's just by random that they assign you to. So my luck, I wasn't working with them. I was working with the people who um, their companies pay for them to be at that place because it's a royal um, horse race. So, you know, like um, the wealthy people go there and have the horse race thing. And um, that's why the queen was there. And like when you popped your head outside, you can see her. She was like in the box, like right on top and stuff. I couldn't see her face, but you can see her figure walking around and everything. And I'm um, sitting down. And them people who I serve, they think that they're special. Um, I think the plates went to, I think it went to like a thousand pounds per table. And, um, or it's either that or the plates went to about, um, about 80 pounds per head. So, you know, they got unlimited wine. Um, I tasted their food. Man, that's the thing about these places is like, you know, you serve these people and you're just like, how, like, what kind of food are they actually paying for that must be this good that they're willing to pay like, you know, a hundred pounds for? I taste it. It's not even nice. Not even nice. I'm just like, you people are wasting your money on this kind of stuff. And I see how it's made too. Like, they will pay like... 30 pounds for a dessert and the dessert will be like this small and then I taste it and it's not even nice and like I see what the chef does just to make it look fancy they put like a dot on the on the um on the plate and then they take a spoon and then they go like that and so the the, the dot just looks like it looks like these fancy lines and I'm just like you just put dots and just put lines over it and everything and I'm just like half the time it's not even like I don't, I don't think it's very sanitary and stuff because like things be happening like um like dishwashers be breaking down and when the dishwashers break down all basically they tell you to do is put that mess in hot water and scrape the food off and stuff so I'm just like you paying for something that's not even like cleaned with what proper proper um what is it like proper soap and everything so yeah i'm just like i i ain't got time for that type of richness i'm just like you basically pay just for the atmosphere and for the um yeah honestly they pay for the atmosphere and just so, like it doesn't look as dirty as it is behind the scenes 
and stuff. So, what else? Uh, yeah, so I'm at the Queen yesterday night. I, I was with some lawyers and everything. It was on top of a really, really fancy building, and you got to see above everything. It was right next to the, to the river. And, um, what else? That, that was an amazing view. What else have I seen? I was on a boat about four days ago. Three or four days ago. Wait, when was it? That was two days ago. Because, yeah, the thing was yesterday that I did. <sighs> that boat, especially because it was in the nighttime. It was these little kids' proms that I worked at. Oh, that was, we were just going up and down. I mean, the the bad thing is, yeah, you have to work and you're not able to, like, enjoy it. Like, you know, some of the people would get to sit down and enjoy it. But it's like, I'm doing it for free, you know, I'm getting paid for it. And I still get to see what's out there. And it, it was just so nice. And, like, with catering, you get to meet, like, so many different type of people. Like, you know, it's every day, it's somebody new that you're meeting. And I mean, sometimes, you know, you work with too many type of personalities, which is nice sometimes. But then when you get the bad ones, it's kind of, it's kind of like, it's not nice. Because then sometimes they want to like scream and shout at you and do all this other kind of stuff. And, ah, and then they want me to work, um... For the Olympics, I'm not. I I can't do that though because my visa isn't won't allow me to. But honestly, that's all right because if I work, if I worked while like during that one, they want me to work about for three weeks. I think yeah, it's three weeks, and I only get four days off, and those are proper proper like twelve hour shifts, and they will work you twelve hours. And I don't want to be on my feet for that long. And um, so I won't have the type of, the same type of freedom. And um, yeah, it's the Olympics, you know, I'm just like, I, I don't, I want to, I want to see it, but I don't want to be around it that much, you know, because there's a lot of, the, you don't know who's crazy. Um, so with another company, I'm doing stewarding. And with stewarding, it's mainly like, I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what it is. They, they make it sound like crowd, it's crowd management, which is a more riskier thing, but I ain't got to work so hard. Basically, all I got to do is just talk to people and be like, no, you can't come here. You can't come here and all this other kind of stuff. I ain't got to be serving people with a hot plate and all this other kind of mess. Um, and then what else? These next, the next week. I'll be doing promotions, so I fi I'm finally getting to my marketing thing. So with marketing, they want me to do, I've done marketing already, but they want me to do LA Fitness. LA Fitness is coming, as making its way to um, London, and they want me to promote for that one. And they want me to promote for, and these are different, different companies too that I'm with. They want me to do, they want me to do some other stuff, they'll email me. But yeah, so when I get so when I get back, I feel like I'm just gonna go. I I, I don't want like I'm gonna go ahead get my business started. I want to um I'm gonna just go up to the teachers, ask them what's the best way how to um write a business plan, try to get some investors, and I will start getting my business started. But I need money, so I'm gonna do tips. So once again waitressing because at least the american people ooh, they like to tip the british people not so much not so much especially like um probably because i'm doing events and such but they don't really bring money besides for like you know the alcohol and everything but um yeah america is known is like internationally known for getting good tips so now since i have experience with waitressing i'll go back and um and do that, but mainly it's gonna. I'm gonna just get my biz start focusing on my business. So yeah, I know where Richmond is. <laughs> All right, Daddy, I'll see you later. I just wanted to um come over and.
say hi. I hope that you got my um, my flight itinerary thing. So that means when I touch down, you guys will be there. It won't because I won't have an American um, cell phone number anymore. I only have a British one. So you guys need to be there before time. You best to have a, a sign and everything that says we miss you because I ain't been around there for like a year or so. And so, um, yeah, I got like less than two months now. Uh, so I gotta start packing again. Half my stuff, I just have to give it away to the, um, to the, oh, uh, what do they call it here? This, it's another word for charity. It's, um, yeah, they call it charity shops here. What we call, no, okay. They call it charity shops here. What do we call it here, there? Salvation Army. Yeah. Okay, well, Daddy, I'll see you later. Mm, it was nice seeing you. All right, then, bye-bye. Ciao.